So two things before we start today's video. The first one is this work that you're about to see is purely fictional and all it is is based on a Ralph Macchio interview he did about two or three years back now where he actually said that he was in talks to play Marty McFly in Back to the Future. So again, this is fictional. The only Marty McFly that will ever exist is Michael J. Fox who I've got tattooed right on my arm. Now number two guys is go check out the Back to the Future store Argentina where you can grab an awesome shirt like this and you can browse so many more shirts that they've got on the website site and you're certainly going to want to pick up a bargain of a price shirt and also represent back to the future with donations also going towards the michael j fox foundation <laughs> So what's going on guys, welcome back to another video and if you're brand new here please feel free to hit that subscribe button and if you're coming back and you're not subscribed, well why not, come join this awesome adventure where I'm going to be making more videos like this and if you want to see a part 2 or alternate timelines, leave your comments down below and let me know what your thoughts are of this video. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So let's picture this setting. In 1984, Michael J. Fox is casted to play Marty McFly in the film Back to the Future. Back to the Future is going to be directed by Bob Gale and Robert Zemeckis, two directors that have been pushing to get this project off the ground and eventually got the green light from Universal. However, six weeks into the shoot, Michael J. Fox is pulled aside by the director. He is told ultimately that, look, Michael, it's not working and unfortunately, we're going to have to let you go. Go home. So Michael J. Fox goes home and he comes home to a fax that simply says, you're fired. So with this dilemma in mind, and with the restrictions that they have on filming and getting this released for 1985 towards the end of the year, this panic on set, they're wondering what the hell they're gonna do. However, they have found that because The Karate Kid was so successful, Ralph Macchio has been a breakout star and they wanna bring him to set. And ultimately they wanted to originally cast him as Martin McFly, but he wasn't available at the time. So here comes Ralph Macchio, and here's a great shot of him behind the scenes. So filming gets underway, we see Ralph Macchio here playing the guitar and blowing up the amplifier in what is soon to be a classic opening scene of the movie Back to the Future. Along the way, we see him develop some chemistry with Claudia Wells, who plays Jennifer Parker. So these two are sat outside on the bench with the Pearson clock tower in the background as these two lean in for a kiss before Jennifer Parker gets picked up by her dad. Fast forward later into the film where Doc asks Marty to meet him at Twin Pines Mall as he wants to show him something. So Marty comes along at late at night with a camera and when Marty sees the DeLorean he says... What the hell? So Doc's reply is... The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? To which Marty responds... Of course you did. After accidentally tripping the time circuit in 1985, Marty is sent back to 1955, where he tries to seek out Doc Brown. However, Doc Brown is tough to find. Marty has to use a phone book. So when Marty does find his address and tells Doc the situation that, look, I'm actually from the future and he needs an idea of how to get back to 1985, Doc Brown sees this 1985 Save the Clock Tower leaflet that Marty is originally given. And Doc comes up with an idea to send Marty back to the future in which he says next saturday night we're sending you back to the future surprised by the revelation marty replies to doc saying i can't believe it whilst the plan is now in fruition and doc brown and marty are going to use the delorean in hopes of the lightning striking the clock tower to generate the 1.21 gigawatts Marty and Doc now share a special moment where Doc really realises how big of an impact Marty has actually had on his life. And he says to Marty, You've really made a difference in my life. You've given me something to shoot for. And slightly taken aback, Marty replies, You're the best friend I ever had. So before this scene with the lightning going to be striking the clock tower, Marty has to go back to Hill Valley to make his mum and dad fall in love. And this is where Marty performs at the Enchantment Under the Sea Dance. So Marty's in a race with the 1.21 gigawatts. He has to hit at exactly 10 or 4 p.m. Otherwise, he's stuck in 1955 forever. And Marty is successful. He makes it back to 1985 and he's rewrote the timeline. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I will leave a link below where you can actually read the article yourself where Ralph Matt says that he actually interviewed and had some interviews for the role of Martin McFly in Back to the Future so that is down below in the description box and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and comment below if you want to see a part two or if you want me to expand on this series and also hit the subscribe button while you're there and until next time this has been the Z Review and I'll be seeing you later.